Mommy, why whenever I hold on to an object, it says send to soulmate? That's because, honey, any object you touch, you can send to your soulmate. And he can send you any object he touches. I'm going to send him Mr. Octopus. <gasps> Mommy, my soulmate wants to send me something. What did he do to my octopus? And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Oh, honey. I'm never letting my soulmate send me anything ever again. And I'm never sending him anything. My soulmate sent me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Did your soulmate send you anything today? No, I haven't accepted anything from my soulmate since I was six. You should accept it. It might be something important. Yeah. A puzzle piece with an E on it. Oh, my soulmate's trying to send me something again. LP? He sent me E earlier. Maybe he's trying to say something. Yeah, like Lep or L. Pell. And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Help! Help! My soulmate was trying to say that he needs help. What am I going to do? You should send him over something so he can protect himself. Good idea. Here, send him this frying pan. Now you're talking. My soulmate's trying to send me something. He sent me the frying pan back. He must not need it. Brianna, look, he attacked something. It's a puzzle piece with a one on it. I wonder what this one could mean. My soulmate's trying to send me something. Four, three. Maybe he's trying to tell me what address he's at. Or maybe it's a code to unlock something. Sophie, I'm worried about my soulmate. He hasn't sent me anything in hours. What if something happened to him? Here, send him this. Oh, moldy cheese. It smells so bad that if someone's holding him captive, they'll release him for sure. Why do you have this on hand? You don't? Maybe I can send over myself. I don't know. I don't think you're considered an object. I can send myself, but I'm scared. I don't know where I'm going to end up. It's not a good idea. It's too dangerous. Please, don't go. My soulmate wants to send me something. A six. He wants to send me something again. What is it? It's an arrow, but I can't tell if it's up or down. Attach it to the puzzle piece and see. It's down. He sent me dirt. This is getting weird. I need to go to him. Brianna, wait. Take this for protection. Promise me you'll come back safely. I promise I will. Why am I at a graveyard? Six down. I think he was trying to say he's six feet under. Help, help me. Are you still alive? Grandma, I just got a word above my head. It said, hmm. No, don't say the word. You have to act it out and I have to guess what the word is. I have three tries and if I guess them all wrong, I die. Okay. It's uh, very silly and it likes banana. <laughs> Minions. No! <laughs> that darn squeaky door your grandfather still hasn't fixed! No, Grandma, it's an animal! Your little sister. No, Grandma, it was a monkey! Emily, hurry, you're going to make us miss the bus! Okay, sissy, I'm ready. Emily, I just got it acted out. What am I eating? Air. No, it's a candy you eat all the time! Mommy doesn't let me eat candy. Celery? No! Okay, Emily, what is this? Okay, Emily, what is this? Lollipop. Yes, you got it! Now, come on, we're going to miss the bus. Boo! Ah! What is wrong with you, Emily? Why would you scare me like that? I got an act it out. Oh! Sissy, watch this. Okay, so I put this over my head, and I am a... A white sheet. No, it's a costume. People dress up as this on Halloween. A monster. So close. It's a white monster that floats and says boo. A ghost. You got it. It took you long enough. You're not very smart, sissy. Get over here, Emily. Mommy. You okay, babe? Yeah, babe, I'm all right. I had to run to school this morning. I missed the bus. I just got an acted out. Oh, uh, texting? Goal, touchdown, score, strike. What the? Goal, touchdown, score, strike. What the? None of that makes any sense. Come on, babe, it's something you love. Man. What? No. Beep, boop, pop, beep, beep, beep. You and your boy 
toys when you hang out, you playa? Video game! <sighs> yes, baby, you got it. Thank goodness. Let's break up. What? I'm sorry, but it's not me. It's you. I don't have feelings for you anymore. Fine, goodbye forever then. Wait, I know this is kind of a bad time, but I got an act it out. Look at my hands, heart, heart. It represents the word. Heart, heartbreak? <laughs> no, it's a feeling that I don't have for you anymore. Love? Yes. You're breaking up with me because you don't love me anymore? Yes, you got it. <sighs> Bessie, you're not going to believe what Brianna happened. Uh-oh, drama. I just got an acted out. Now, which one of you should I get to guess the word? I just got an acted out. Now, which one of you should I get to guess the word? Pick her. She's supposed to be your best friend, but she's been seeing me behind your back the whole time we've dated. You're right. Stephanie, guess the word. You're a really good friend, Stephanie. Are you acting it out right now? Best friends? I forgive you for what you did. Uh, forgiveness? I completely understand why you kissed my boyfriend, and I hope we can be friends forever. Aw, oh, I hope we can still be friends too. The answer is kindness. No. The word was liar. I was acting like a liar. Are you okay, Brianna? No, I'm not okay. My ex kissed my best friend, and then my best friend lost playing acted out, which is all my fault, and I feel terrible about it. I'm sorry to say this, but I just got an acted out. Timmy! Don't say my name in a mean voice. Don't play with me right now, Timmy. You don't play with me. Hurry up and act out the word. I am. Everyone, here are your soulmate heart lockets. Only your soulmate will have the key to your heart, and only you will have the key to their heart. Jake is going to be your soulmate for sure. You guys are made for each other. You guys really think so? Hey, Brianna, do you think I could see if we're soulmates? Ew, nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Imagine your soulmate is nerdy Nathan. <laughs> no, Nathan, there's no way you're my soulmate. You're a nerd. That was a little harsh. Here's your test back, Brianna. No way, you got 100%. You're smart. No. Brianna, are you a nerd now? You should quit cheerleading and join the chess club with nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nathan. Jake, it's time to see if we have the key to each other's hearts. I really hope you're my soulmate. You're the hottest girl in the school. And what else? That's it. You're hot. Nothing else matters, babe. I guess. Does it fit? It... Does it fit? It doesn't. You're not my soulmate, Jake. So what? Who cares about a soulmate? That soulmate stuff is fake anyways. We're still gonna be together, right? We're both the hottest and most popular people in the school. Yeah, of course. So, are you and Jake soulmates? We're not. No way, but you guys were made for each other. But we're still gonna be together. Yay! You two are the perfect couple. Jake, why don't you break up with Brianna and just be with me? No way, she's way harder than you. You're just my side girlfriend. Why am I not even surprised? You deserve so much better than him. Just mind your business, nerdy Nathan. Hey, Nathan, I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. I was just really hurt. I'm used to it. Someone dropped their heart key. It unlocks my heart. I love stealing Big Sissy's makeup. It's so much fun. Brianna, you did something wrong. You stole your Big Sister's makeup. Now you must make things right. You must right your wrong before the timer runs out or else you die. Live or die, the choice is up to you. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I stole your lipstick and I put it all over my face. It was a mistake and I really hope you forgive me. <laughs> I can't believe you took my lipstick again. What's wrong with you? You're such a little brat. Wait, don't worry about it, okay? I forgive you. I love you. I love you, sissy. Mommy, when's dinner ready? I cheated, I cheated on you. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. What? Ah, daddy! Cover your eyes. <laughs> This is all your guys' fault. You kids are so bad, you wouldn't have found another woman. Or maybe you're just a terrible wife. Don't you? Guys, stop fighting. I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Maybe you're just a terrible wife. Don't you? Guys, stop fighting. I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I only said it because I was mad at you. Yeah, okay, whatever, fine. I'm sorry too, okay? And I forgive you. Why is the timer still going off? I made my wrong right. I said sorry. You have to mean it, Mom. Okay, okay, I mean it. Come on, stop. Sissy, don't look. This is bull. Hey, any luck finding a job? Not yet. It's really been hard for me to take care of you on my own since Mom died. 
If we don't find a way to get money soon, you'll have to be put in foster care. I can't take care of you anymore. I'll find a job soon, okay? Hey, have a good day at school, okay? We'll figure this out. I love you. Oh, um... Sir, sir, you dropped your wallet. Oh, how did I not notice? Thank you so much. No problem. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Sir, sir, wait! Sir, I stole money from your wallet before giving it back to you. I knew it was wrong and I'm so sorry I did that. I just couldn't help myself. I really need the money and I wasn't thinking. Thank you. It's very brave of you to own up to your actions. You're a good person. No. I'm not a good person. If there was no consequence to my action, I wouldn't have gave the money back. You are a good person, because someone who is bad would never truly believe what they did was wrong. Here, take this. Consider it a gift. Sir, I can't accept this. I won't accept it back, so you might as well keep it. But I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Have a good day. That voice. Wait! Where did he go? Hey, Professor, sorry I'm... Late. Your professor's not here. Today I'll be the one teaching the class. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> now, Brittany. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> now, Brittany. Making fun of someone is not a very nice thing to do. Apologize or face the consequences. The substitute teacher is the controller of right or wrong. What? Anyways, I guess I need to apologize. I'm so sorry that you're so easy to make fun of. Brittany, no, that's not an apology. Fine, I'm so sorry your face looks so silly when you're scared. No! Brittany! You're not going anywhere. You've got a lot of learning to do. Mmm, cookie. Can I see? Sure. Give me that. <gasps> Timmy, give me my cookie back. Timmy, stealing someone's food without permission is not right. Make it right or die. Ah, okay, here. You already took a bite out of it. Hold out your hand. I can give it back. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You keep it. Hello? Sissy, the control of right or wrong is in my classroom. Brianna's using her phone in class! Jimmy! I love stealing Big Sissy's makeup. It's so much fun! Brianna, you did something wrong. You stole your Big Sister's makeup. Now you must make things right. You must right your wrong before the timer runs out, or else you die. Live or die, the choice is up to you. Big Sissy! Big Sissy, Big Sissy! What's wrong? I'm sorry, I stole your lipstick and I put it all over my face. It was a mistake. I can't believe you took my lipstick again. What's wrong with you? You're such a little brat. Wait. Don't worry about it, okay? I forgive you. I love you. I love you, sissy. Mommy, when's dinner ready? I cheated. I cheated on you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. What? Ah, daddy! Cover your eyes. <laughs> this is all your guys' fault. You kids are so bad. You wouldn't have found another woman. Or maybe you're just a terrible wife. Don't you? Guys, stop fighting. I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Baby, you're just a terrible wife. Don't you? Guys, stop fighting. I just got a timer over my head. So did I. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I only said it because I was mad at you. Yeah, okay, whatever, fine. I'm sorry too, okay? And I forgive you. Why is the timer still going off? I made my wrong right. I said sorry. You have to mean it, Mom. Okay, okay, I mean it. Come on, stop. Sissy, don't look. This is bull! Hey, any luck finding a job? Not yet. It's really been hard for me to take care of you on my own since mom died. If we don't find a way to get money soon, you'll have to be put in foster care. I can't take care of you anymore. I'll find a job soon, okay? Hey, have a good day at school, okay? We'll figure this out. I love you. Oh. Um. <laughs> sir? Sir? You dropped your wallet. Oh, how did I not notice? Thank you so much. No problem. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Brianna, you did something wrong. It's time to right your wrong or face the consequences of your actions. Sir! Sir, wait! Sir! I stole money from your wallet before giving it back to you. I knew it was wrong and I'm so sorry I did that. I just couldn't help myself. I really need the money and I wasn't thinking. Thank you. It's very brave of you to own up to your actions. You're a good person. No, 
I'm not a good person. If there was no consequence to my action, I wouldn't have gave the money back. You are a good person because someone who is bad would never truly believe what they did was wrong. Here, take this. Consider it a gift. Sir, I can't accept this. I won't accept it back, so you might as well keep it. But I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Have a good day. That voice. Wait! Where did he go? Hey, Professor, sorry I'm late. Your professor's not here. Today I'll be the one teaching the class. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> Now, Brittany. Brianna looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> now, Brittany. Making fun of someone is not a very nice thing to do. Apologize or face the consequences. The substitute teacher is the controller of right or wrong. What? Anyways, I guess I need to apologize. I'm so sorry that you're so easy to make fun of. Brittany, no, that's not an apology. Fine. I'm so sorry your face looks so silly when you're scared. No! Brittany! You're not going anywhere. You've got a lot of learning to do. Mmm, cookie. Can I see? Sure. Give me that. <gasps> Timmy, give me my cookie back. Timmy, stealing someone's food without permission is not right. Make it right or die. <gasps> okay, here. You already took a bite out of it. Hold out your hand. I can give it back. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You keep it. Hello? Sissy, the control of right or wrong is in my classroom. Brianna's using her phone in class. Jimmy! You run into the school out of breath and worried that you're going to be late for your first class of the day. Hey, who's saying that? Your best friend notices you as she's walking down the hall and says, Hey, you're running late too? Hey, you're running late too? Huh? You feel a little confused, but you nod and reply with, I am. I am? Well, we should really start heading to class. We're already late, your best friend suggests. Well, we should really start heading to class. We're already late. You both start walking. Blah, 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 blah. You begin to fall asleep during the teacher's lecture when suddenly the teacher asks you, Brianna, what's the answer to the question? Huh? Brianna, what's the answer to the question? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know the answer. Ha ha ha, she wasn't paying attention, Eugene scoffs. Ha ha ha, she wasn't paying attention. Suddenly, a suspicious man enters the school. No, no, no. The suspicious man begins making his way to your classroom. Brianna, is something wrong? We need to barricade that door now. What? I said now! I'm going to school now. Come if you want, sissy. If not, I don't care. Just wait a minute. Ugh. Ouchie. Get up yourself. Spare change, spare change. If only you lived in a world where people could be kind. Hey! Sissy, that was really unnecessary. Are you okay, sir? I love you, sissy. I love you, sissy. Hey, you dropped your pen. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't care. Pick it up if you want. Doesn't bother me. Here's your test back that I'm only giving to you because I'm obligated to. Thank. Thank goodness. Don't get long enough. Are you doing okay? I know you're upset about your sister. How do you? Hey, if you want to act kind and get killed, go right ahead. Just leave me out of it. I can't get killed because I'm already dead. I know how to put an end to this kindness law. I know how to put an end to this kindness law. All you have to do is kill them with kindness. If I act kind, I'll die. You have to kill them with kindness before they kill you. Kindness will only kill those who are evil. That's why they made the law in the first place. So that the evil could continue living. Brianna, why are you staring so intensely at nothing? Just mind your business, Timmy. Let's go to class. Timmy, you're really handsome. What are you, dumb or crazy? Why are you saying kind things? Brianna's eliminated. Over. I like your shoes, scary guy. I think the way that you eliminate people is just so cool and amazing. Stop talking. Uh, why can't I move? What's going on? Are you okay? Did you need help with anything? I'm here to help if you need me. I can't move. Brianna, what just happened? We need to get out of here, Timmy. Come on. Brianna, what was that? I know how to put an end to the kindness law. We can live in a world that is kind. We all just... What makes you think a world with kindness is better than this one? Personally, I prefer evil. Timmy. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. Chicken nugget. Brianna, did you steal my purse? No. I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the timer runs out, you'll die. Okay, I took it. I'm glad you told the truth. Now remember, never lie, because it's very dangerous, okay? Okay. Brianna, has Jake came to school yet? 
Uh, my boyfriend Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jakey! Are we still on for our date tonight? Of course. <laughs> Jake, you were so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world and you trust Brianna. <laughs> um, anyways, I gotta go. I'll see you later, babe. Okay, bye, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you were acting like a total pick-me when he was around. What? No way. Why would I like your boyfriend? Are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like your boyfriend? Are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. Jake and I were dating behind your back a few months ago. I'm sorry, Brianna. No, no, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I would die. Go ask Jake yourself if you don't believe me. Got your pen. Jakey. <laughs> Jake, Emma told me earlier that you guys used to date while dating me. Is that true? It's Brianna and Jake. Did you already finish your assignments? Yep. Yes, sir. It's true. Emma and I were seeing each other while you and I were dating. But I don't love Emma. I've always loved you. I don't love you and I never have, Jake. Brianna. <laughs> I'm in love with Jake and I always have been. Was that Jake? I'm going to school now. Come if you want, sissy. If not, I don't care. Just wait a minute. Ugh. Ouchie. Get up yourself. Spare change, spare change. If only you lived in a world where people could be kind. Hey! Sissy, that was really unnecessary. Are you okay, sir? I love you, sissy. I love you, sissy. Hey, you dropped your pen. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't care. Pick it up if you want. Doesn't bother me. Here's your test back that I'm only giving to you because I'm obligated to. Thank. Thank goodness. Took you long enough. Are you doing okay? I know you're upset about your sister. How do you? Hey, if you want to act kind and get killed, go right ahead. Just leave me out of it. I can't get killed because I'm already dead. I know how to put an end to this kindness law. I know how to put an end to this kindness law. All you have to do is kill them with kindness. If I act kind, I'll die. You have to kill them with kindness before they kill you. Kindness will only kill those who are evil. That's why they made the law in the first place. So that the evil could continue living. Brianna, why are you staring so intensely at nothing? Just mind your business, Timmy. Let's go to class. Timmy, you're really handsome. What are you, dumb or crazy? Why are you saying kind things? Brianna's eliminated. Over. I like your shoes, scary guy. I think the way that you eliminate people is just so cool and amazing. Stop talking. Uh, why can't I move? What's going on? Are you okay? Did you need help with anything? I'm here to help if you need me. I can't move. Brianna, what just happened? We need to get out of here, Timmy. Come on. Brianna, what was that? I know how to put an end to the kindness law. We can live in a world that is kind. We all just... What makes you think a world with kindness is better than this one? Personally, I prefer evil. Timmy. I now pronounce you husband and wife. If we're husband and wife, then we should kiss. Um, okay, I guess, Timmy, but just on the cheek, okay? Okay, I guess. <laughs> I got money? Mommy, today at school, I got money. Oh, honey, you must have kissed someone. Every time you kiss someone, you get money. But it has to be someone new every time. If you kiss the same person, you won't get money. So that means I could be rich, but I don't want to kiss boys. That's gross. <coughs> Mom, are you feeling okay? Sweetie, it's cancer. The medical bills are going to be way too expensive, and I'm too sick to work. How am I going to pay the bills? Mom, don't worry. I'll get you enough money. Bestie, I need your help. I need to kiss as many boys as possible. Ew. It's for my mom. She needs the money. Oh, well, look over there. There's Eugene. He's a nerd. He'll kiss you for sure. Look over there. There's Eugene. He's a nerd. He'll kiss you for sure. Eugene, I need you to kiss me. I'll kiss you on one condition. You have to say Eugene is the smartest, hottest guy on the planet. I'm not saying that. You can just kiss me on the cheek if it's such a big deal. You do know you get way more money if you kiss someone on the lips, right? <laughs> Eugene is the smartest, hottest guy on the planet. Okay, now say it like you mean it. No, we had a deal. I said it. Now kiss me. Okay, don't yell at me. Yuck, why does it taste like feet? What I do in my spare time is none of your business. <sighs> I got money. Now who can I kiss next? Principal Stevens, wait. 
Hey, Brianna, your best friend told me you're trying to kiss as many boys as possible to get money for your mom. I'm down if you are. But Jason, you're my boyfriend's best friend, and my boyfriend and I haven't even had our first kiss yet. Fine, if you don't want money for your mom. Fine, I'll do it. Jason, just please don't tell my boyfriend. Don't worry, he already knows. Give me Mr. Snowman. I got it. <laughs> catch me if you can. Ricky, why I catch you, Ricky? You're not going to come after me? It says this action would have consequences. I don't want to find out what kind of consequence. Yeah, it could have a bad consequence, like Mr. Snowman dying. <gasps> Honey, would you like a ride to school? No, I'm fine, Mom. I'll just take the bus. Wait, I made you some lunch. Here. I could have just bought lunch at school, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Thanks for the lunch. Bree, want to come with us to throw Timmy in the fountain? Yeah. No, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. Help me! Hey, Brianna. Jake. You look amazing today. Thanks. Come closer. How about you and I skip class and go on a walk together? I would love... I would love to. Perfect.